So now that you got your Steam Deck, you want to add some additional launchers beyond the Steam library. Maybe you have some games on GOG or Epic Game Store. Maybe you want to play Final Fantasy VII Remake that's on Epic Game Store on your Steam Deck or whatever you have on GOG on here as well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install those. So if you just follow the steps along, you'll be able to play your games in no time. All that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this tutorial. This wasn't written with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision, wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it, you can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I, I top my division, I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but this is a different kind of lucha party. We are not alone. Now, before we dive into this tutorial, if you enjoy the content I make from the tutorials I make, along with the reviews for tech and gaming and so much more, make sure you like this video, sub to the channel, and that way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest reviews, tech reviews, Steam Deck tutorials, and more that I put here on this channel. And also, if you want to support the work that I do, we do have channel memberships here on YouTube, as well as Patreon. Head on over to patreon.com slash Mikel Casanova, that way you get inside and early access access to content that I'm making. You can see it before everyone else does, as well as input on upcoming content and so much more. If you want to pick up some merch, we got merch over on Teespring and Teepublic, so go check those out as well. And uh, beyond that, hop into Discord or in the Gilded link. You know, we have a lot of conversation over there. So if you want to talk about gaming, Steam Deck, and more, then uh, make sure you do that. So without further ado, let's dive into how to set up the Epic Game Store launcher as well as the GOG launcher. Let's go ahead and switch over to the scene here. So now we're at the home screen of the Steam Deck. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just go over to power. You wanna go to switch to desktop. And now that we're in the desktop mode, you're going to want to download the installers for the Epic Game Store as well as for GOG. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to download the installer if you're using the Steam Deck or any Linux platform. But what you can do is you can have everything on a USB disk and then just plug it into like your hub and just move everything over from there. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in my USB here and then we're going to move the files over so we're here in the removables and so we got the GOG and we should also have Epic Game Store if not we can go ahead and download that all right so what we're going to want to do is we're going to move the uh, GOG installer we're gonna move that on over to our downloads tab. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna move it here. Or just copy it over. And once we do that, we've got the two installers here. And I can literally safely remove this, uh, this drive because we're not gonna be using it anymore after this. So I'm gonna remove that. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open Steam. So we're going to do like so. We just open Steam. And what we're going to do is you're going to go over here to add game. And you're going to add a non-Steam game. Now what you want to do is you're going to click browse. And you're going to go to home deck. And you're gonna to go to downloads. And then you're going to do all files. And then you're gonna click Epic Installer, then open. And then you're gonna do that again, GOG, then open. And pretty much any additional installer that you would like to utilize. And once you've got them selected, you're going to add selected programs. And then once that is done, scroll down and you should see Epic Installer, which is right here. And the other one should be GOG, 
underscore galaxy underscore 2.0. Yeah, so we decided to go ahead and try it with GOG. So primarily, just make sure you've got compatibility checked, get one of the protons going, and as you see, it's gonna start the installation right here. And this can take a little bit of time, but not too much overall. And you're gonna do the same thing with Epic Installer. I'm gonna show you guys that too, because it's similar. You're gonna to need to log into both. And then after you do all this, you're still gonna to need to go into the directory to make sure everything is set up. Now, yeah, this is gonna look tiny no matter what. This is just kind of how it is. Just click next, accept, let it do its thing. And then it'll run the extraction and GOG will start getting set up and everything like that. This is best to be done when you've got like a keyboard and mouse because trying to do all this literally just with the Steam Deck itself can be a bit of a nightmare. Just, just putting that out there. Okay. Then once that finishes, you click finish and GOG should boot up. And then it's going to ask you to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and do my login information. Okay, so now that we've got that installed and logged in, next thing we're going to want to do is do the Epic Games launcher. So Epic installer, go over here, properties, compatibility. We'll do 7.0 dash two. And then it'll do this. And then the next thing you're gonna need to do is just run the installer. And this will take a couple seconds to a minute to complete itself. All right, so now that both are installed, next thing you want to do is some configuration for both of the launchers. So you're going to need to change these, the target and the start in. Now, follow along because this is going to be a little bit complicated, but uh, we're going to pull up Dolphin Browser. And so we're going to be at the home section. So what we're gonna wanna do is click on the open menu and we wanna show hidden files. And we wanna go into home. Now that we're in home, we're gonna go to dot local. Then we're gonna go to share. Then we're going to go to Steam. And then we're gonna go to Steam apps. And from Steam apps, comp data. This is very important. Now, you're going to need to do, and to make this really, really simple, make sure you know this, or, you know, this is something you probably want to keep just as a note, like the, the way to get here. Now, you're going to see two instances that are larger than the others. So if we click here, going to PFX, going to drive C, then program files x86, we have GOG. Now we can do either of these first. Uh, since we have this up, let's go ahead and go into GOG. And then we're going to look for the executable, which is the Galaxy client. Now we're going to go back over to GOG in Steam and go to properties. And then what we want to do is you see the Galaxy client, right click on it, copy the location, minimize this, and then make sure you keep the parentheses for the target as well as for the start in. And then you want to highlight here and then paste in what you just found. Now it's going to be the target. Now for the start, 
You're going to do the same thing. Paste it in. And then you're going to get rid of the client part. So it should just have GOG Galaxy for that one. Now, once you're done, close that. Now we're going to go back over to Epic Installer. We're going to open up the properties again. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave out of here and go back to Comp Data. And we're going to go here PFX, Drive C, Program Files x86, Epic Games. So you're going to go into Launcher, Portal, Binaries, Win32, and then Click here on Epic Games Launcher AXE, and then you're gonna copy the location. And then you're just gonna put that within the target, and then within the start in, same thing, parentheses, just make sure you remove the launcher portion. And once you've done that, you effectively are done with the desktop mode, you can go back to gaming mode. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now that it's loaded back up, the only thing we're going to need to do now is go over to library and then non steam scroll down might take a while because this is the last stuff we we added then we're going to click play. And as you see, it'll start loading up. Now you can't use uh, the controls with this. So you have to use a touchpad or use a mouse and keyboard. And give it a couple seconds. When it finishes, it's loading, and it should pull up the Epic Games launcher. And now that we've got it up, now I've already installed some games for it, but uh, we can go over to the library, and this will take a little bit of time. But uh, we've got a couple games installed already. Uh, we've got Tomb Raider, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and also Genshin Impact and Sifu. And uh, what I'll go ahead and do is launch Final Fantasy VII Remake. And we can be able to see, you know, what it looks like on the Steam Deck. If you've got your controller, everything should automatically be configured for you to just go ahead and dive into playing. So then you can just press any button and then we can, you know, you can check everything if you want. You can check graphics, all that stuff. Now, I kind of have these settings for when I play it, but it can be different for you, whatever you prefer. You can go over to continue, pick up where I left off. And it shouldn't take long to load at all. And we're in the game. How dare they say they're doing this for the flesh? The highway collapsed right in front of me. So one of the things I want to do now is I want to go over to the GOG launcher. That way you guys can be able to see that. Now I've got my stuff saved to the favorites, so I don't have to keep going through everything like that. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go to GOG, click that, click play and then it'll start loading up.
As you can see, it's loading here. And then you've got full access to it. Same thing, make sure you have a uh, keyboard and mouse set up. And then you can go look at your own games. These are the games that I own on GOG. And then if I go over to install, I can go ahead. I've got Cyberpunk and Witcher 3 install. I'll click on Cyberpunk. I'll go ahead and click play. Then I'll give it a second for it to do its syncing and everything like that. And it should go ahead and just throw us directly into the game. I can just go to continue. Hey everyone, feels and once we get through all back. the loading, then Seven. we're Did ready to play. That Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale. Apparently. Hey, so we're in the game. And there you go. It's all set up and ready. And so with that being said, you guys have any other questions, then uh, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. And if you need help with installation further tutorials, then uh, head on over to the Steam Deck and Steam Deck emulation uh, Reddit. There's a wealth of information and you just can't go wrong there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you found this tutorial helpful, then make sure you like the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you want to support the content that we do, we do have Patreon over on patreon.com slash Mikhail Casanova, as well as channel memberships here on YouTube, which, you know, gets you early and exclusive access to various content behind the scenes and input on upcoming projects as well. Also, make sure you check us out on Teespring and TeePublic because we got some cool swag, shirts, hats, fitteds, and all that. And uh, if you want to hop in and have more conversations, check us out over on Discord as well as in Gilded. Links for everything is going to be down in the description below. All that being said, I'm Mikhail Casanova signing out. Hope you have a great and aloha rest of your day. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. And if you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships. We've got Patreon. We've got Subscribestar as well as as coffee which i would love to be drinking some coffee right now which i am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on teespring and tea public so make sure you go check that out and all that being said i just hope to see you in the next video that i put out so hey see you around